Welcome to the 2020 End of Year Athletic Awards. The end of the year clearly looked different this year, and our cadets were challenged with unprecedented changes. This made the brotherhood develop that Hargrave, the lessons learned on the field, and the camaraderie uh, fostered by the coaches even more important. While we wish we could be gathered together to celebrate these student athletes uh, and tasting some of Chef John and his team's uh, delicious meals, uh, this will have to suffice. During this ceremony, you'll hear from our spring coaches who will speak about their teams, issue their sports individual awards for the spring season, and then we'll also issue our end of year awards, including Outstanding Athlete, our Iron Tiger Awards, the Major Talent Award, and uh, Sportsmanship Awards for both JV and varsity. While the cadets named here deserve an additional congratulations, all of our cadets deserve applause and recognition for getting through this challenging time. So without any further ado, let's get to our coaches. Uh, the 2019-2020 varsity baseball team was well on its way to establishing a foundation uh, that uh, the school would be proud of. And I am excited about next year's season with the foundation that we built just in the short period of time uh, from this year that next year will be able to start running and, and moving a little bit fast and, and continue those traditions. Uh, so today I wanted to um, give out three awards to uh, three gentlemen that uh, um, I felt des are deserving of the award, um, the uh, Most Valuable Player Award, Most Improved Award, and of course, the Coaches Award. Uh, the first award I'd like to give um, is the Most Improved Award. Um, most of the players that I looked at through this award uh, are deserving of it. Uh, there are plenty of, plenty of you guys that definitely improved as we began practice. However, I wanted to um, just to identify one person I felt really stepped up and improved greatly, and that person is Andrew Ponton. Um, Andrew started the um, practice season um, in a position that he normally has not uh, played before. I asked him to do it because I felt it would have been a good fit for him. And because of that, uh, he had to learn some skills that he previously hadn't had an opportunity to, uh, um, to use. So in each day, Andrew, you did a great job of working hard. You, you went through frustration, no doubt. Um, but each day you showed that grit to improve daily, and you did. And so you are well deserved of the most improved award. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, the next award I'd like to give it is the Most Valuable Player Award. Now, the Most Valuable Player, um, like I mentioned before, is not necessarily the person with the most talent. Uh, the Most Valuable Player Award is the player, uh, for me, is the one that establishes a whole person, a whole player um, attitude. Um, someone that's willing to play more than one position and can play more than one position. This person that I'd like to give the most well player award uh, was always on time, had a great attitude, uh, worked very hard at his skill, uh, took the game seriously, but had a good time at the same time doing it. And I'd like to give that award to Mason Anderson. So congratulations, Mason, you deserve that. Uh, Mason also would stay out to practice and work a little extra as well. Uh, the final award that I'd like to give is the Coach's Award. Um, this award is very important. It, it is something that uh, means a lot to me. Um, this award goes to the player that, if I had to choose one player and take 15 of them, then that would be the perfect team. These type of players are contagious. If you have one of them, they set an example for the rest, and it builds people up. Um, this person here, like I mentioned, if I could have 15 of them, I'll take them. And I'd like to give this award to a young man that uh, I was very proud of this year. He, he came into the um, varsity baseball team with very or little, if at all, any experience in baseball and had to learn how to do things that he was not used to doing. But he showed great desire, never complained, 
worked very hard at exactly everything I asked him to do. He was like a sponge. And I'd like to give this award to Skylar Jordan. You are the coach's award this year, and I'm very proud of you, Skylar, and I'm looking forward to having you back next year and even improving even more and showing that same type of attitude. So congratulations, Skylar. Hargrave Varsity Baseball, look forward to having you guys back next year. Hopefully you'll be able to play a little bit of summer ball and enjoy some time this year with that. If not, we'll get uh, working hard when you get back. Thank you, guys. All right. My name is Richard Phillips, and I'm the golf coach at Hargrave. And even though the COVID vi uh, Corona's virus got us this year, it was really the best of years and the worst of years. It was the best because we had talent that enabled Hargrave's golf team for the first time to compete at the conference level and possibly even at the state level. It was the worst of years because those young men didn't get a chance to compete. I'm also very gratified by the fact that we're drawing young men into the program now who are gonna be with us for the next two, three, and possibly even four years. Uh, young men like Chris Rowe, John Knapp, John Mariello, who actually put their whole heart into learning the game and who will one day be future stars for the Hargrave golf team. That said, the awards that I wanna give are for the most valuable player, the coaches award and the most improved player. And to be honest, uh, the three young men who earned those awards could easily have won any one of them. That being the case though, the most valuable player goes to Nathan Kenya. This is a young man who started out with us two years ago and was a rather frustrated individual, but he ended up this past year prior to the first match, being one of the most accomplished golfers that I've ever had the pleasure of working with. In fact, Nathan had the potential uh, to win a state singles title if he put his mind to it. And I wanna commend him for the hard work and the effort that he put forward during this past summer. It paid off handsomely and it proved the kind of metal that's in him. So Nathan, congratulations on being the team's most valuable player. The coach's award is normally given to a young man who is the glue that holds the team together. And this year, that was Scott Kennedy. Scott could easily have won the most improved player award, but it's more appropriate to give him the coach's award because he was the team leader and he was the one that everyone turned to when something had to be done. It speaks tons about the type of individual that Scott is and the responsibility that he's willing to take. For that reason, Scott won the coach's award. The most valuable, or the most, excuse me, the most improved player award goes to Bennett Souls. I remember Bennett two years ago when I first started coaching him. He was one of the most frustrated golfers I have ever seen. Yet he ended up going into this season as a calm, determined, and persistent golfer who actually played with the young guys and gave them some help. That in itself speaks volume about the type of person that Bennett is. And it's one of the reasons that he won the most improved award. Now to all three of these young men, I say congratulations. And my only regret is, is that you didn't have a chance to prove yourself on the golf course. I know, however, that as you go into college, you will do so. And I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Next up are our lacrosse awards. Coach Reach could not be here with us to film, but he wanted to pass along some words. The 2020 season is certainly going down as one of the most memorable sports seasons ever as a coach or a player, 
but not just because it was cut short by a global pandemic. The season sticks out because even though it only may have lasted three weeks, the experience I had with these young men was the best I've had as a coach. The odds were stacked against us this season. We were hurting for numbers, our goalie situation was unsettled, and a majority of the team was either new to the, was new to the sport entirely. It was going to be an uphill battle, but these young men never ceased to amaze me with their drive, dedication, willingness to learn, willingness to make mistakes, and then to learn from them, but most importantly, to raise each other up and help out every single day. This was not a group of, in of individual players. This was a team. We succeeded together, and we struggled together. As a coach, you can't ask for anything more than that. I would have loved to have seen the season that we would have had in full and watched them continue to grow and see their hard work pay off. But now the bar is set for the spring 2021 season, and we've got work to do and a job to finish. Our first award is the Most Improved Award. This award is for the player who showed the most improvement and goes to a young man who, like so many others on the team, came into this green and knew very little about lacrosse. He worked hard every single day in practice, adopt, adapted to the skills and knowledge required of the sport, and always was positive. He showed a natural talent for it that made me wish he not only started the playing, playing the game a long time ago, but it also made me wish that he wasn't a senior. The award for most improved goes to Mason Shragi. Next up is the MVP award. Trying to select a player worthy of most valuable from a team who only saw three weeks of the program wasn't easy. So many of these young men showed heart, skill, and improvement, and I know that each of them would have proven their value over time and had the season carried on as normal. However, at the end of the day, there is one young man who proved invaluable to us even in that short time. This young man stepped into a role that is probably the least envious of all and did it without any prior experience. He did it without any true hesitation, and he did it wanting to be the best that he could for his team. Without him, we truly didn't have a team. The, the award for the most valuable player of the 2020 spring lacrosse season goes to Biagio Puglisi. The last award we have is the Coach's Award. This third and final award goes to a young man who represented everything a coach of any sport loves to see in his players. This is a young man that was eager to get on the field and play the cross long before the season even started. He beat the bushes to drum up support for the team and find new additions. He helped out his teammates who were struggling or just learning to play. And I swear you could hear his heartbreak the afternoon on, on March 13th when news dropped that they were canceling the season. This, co this year's Coach's Award goes to Andrew Guarino. Hello, my name is Jeremy Eubank. I am the head track and field coach at Hargrave Military Academy. I am here to go over our season overview as well as our end of year awards. Uh, we first would like to thank uh, the faculty and staff and administration for their support, even though it was a shortened season. A uh, couple key points that I'll take away from our shortened season is number one, the effort, the ability for our young men to be coached from the start of the season through the end of it was very high. Uh, we were very pleased overall with the overall effort that they gave. Uh, the fact that we had a fair amount of new young athletes come out uh, was a great sign for the future. Um, even though we've only had two track meets, we were very fortunate to win both track meets uh, by a pretty decent margin. Uh, and we were able to find some new athletes that could compete in some different events would add value to us uh, later on in the season. Uh, we would call those like Swift Army Knives. Uh, they had different components, which they would help us in different events across the 18 different events that are offered throughout track and field. Um, we have a fair number of kids returning next year, and we're looking forward to that. And we know the uh, future here is bright for us for the track and field program. On to our end of year awards. The first, first award I will be giving out is the Newcomer of the Year. We are very pleased to have this young man come out as we knew he was a very good athlete. He was a second semester student, has excelled well academically. We knew coming out that he wanted to try multiple events. Uh, we let him try some of those as well. 
And uh, he eventually became one of the top three hurdlers and one of the top three throwers in each throwing event. Um, we are looking forward to having him back next year. This season's Newcomer of the Year award goes to Joseph Ascent. The next award we'll be giving out is the Most Improved Athlete. When you think of Most Improved, you think from year from previous year to this current year. Um, unfortunately, we we had so many new athletes, we looked at it as a coaching staff, and we did based off the short amount of time we had. Uh, we were very pleased to have this young man come out um, as we knew right away that he would be a very welcomed asset to our program. Um, to have never competed in track and field before, um, he learned to high jump and he learned to triple jump and long jump. Um, and to learn to triple jump, uh, it takes usually about a couple of months to get in. He got it in about four weeks. Um, for his willingness to be coached and his willingness to learn on the fly um, at track meets was very helpful for him um, as he was able to sweep a lot of the events that he competed in. He ended up being one of our top individual point getters throughout the two meets we had, and if our season had continued, I would have looked forward to see where he would have finished uh, at the conference championships in May. We wish we had a full season, as I knew he would have hit some school records with how well he was performing. This season's most improved athlete is Maze Blake. The next award we'll give out is the Coach's Award. This young man has been hurt most of the season. However, that did not stop him from being named a captain, leading our young runners from the sideline, and holding his teammates accountable. Going through this adversity will only make him stronger and has allowed him to understand what lead by example means. We look forward to having him back next year, knowing that he will be able to contribute right away. This season's Coach of the Year award goes to Darius Hankins. And our last award is for our most valuable athlete. This young man has been an anchor for the team since the beginning of the season. He was named one of the captains for the season and right away has taken the young runners under his wing to help propel us to have the success we had at the start of the season. Although we only had two meets, his individual times were faster than he was at the end of last season and anchored our 4x8 and 4x4 relay teams. We look forward to having him back next year knowing that he will be able to contribute right away and have another successful season. This season's most valuable athlete is Nathan Higdon. I'm Coach Tung, and it's been my pleasure and honor to work with the Hargrave Tennis Program uh, this year, spring of 2020. As an individual sport, tennis represents challenges and opportunities for those more familiar with team sports. Boiled down to it, competitive tennis is about crisis management. In terms of other sports, you get to pitch, bat, field all by yourself. You create and execute plays to send the ball away from you, and create and execute plays and defenses for the incoming ball. In a match, this happens over 100 times. On top of that, naturally your opponent is sitting there trying to ruin your day also. And so the men of the 2020 tennis team all embrace this challenge. I hope they will have, have developed some skills and, and confidence uh, that they will continue to use on, on and off the court for the rest of their lives. The first award I'd like to give today is the Most Improved Award. This award is presented to the player, regardless of experience level, who has increased his personal tennis skills, knowledge, and passion for the game. One of the challenges for our younger players is to understand that age and size are generally negated on the tennis court. This young man has taken some summer lessons and had played with his friends and family. As cadets were sent home, he's one of the six that managed to train and play continuously. We anticipate a great 2021 season from him. The 2020 Most Improved Award in Tennis goes to Cadet Nick Brown. Spirit Award. This award is presented to the player who not only increased, but shared his personal tennis skills, knowledge, and passion for the game while representing the Hargrave Tennis Program with dignity. This player competes with absolute honesty and sportsmanship and expects nothing less from those around him. Any player that wanted help would find him helpful. 
He has worked willingly with less experienced and less skilled players, knowing that it would not actually help him to improve, and it could potentially make a huge impact on himself in a negative way, but could also potentially increase the skills and confidence of those other players. The 2020 Spirit Award for tennis goes to team co-captain and senior Sebastian Richardson. The Coaches Award. This award is presented to the player who went above and beyond all normal team expectations to improve himself. He was always one of the last to leave and often came to practice after obviously watching training videos and had plenty of questions. He provides a fire, a sense of fire to the team. The 2020 Coaches Award goes to sophomore John Ratchford. And finally, the Most Valuable Player Award. This award is presented to the player who has contributed the most to the success of the team. One of the tensions in playing team tennis is, is between ego, no one really likes to lose, and integrity, where you know that being one of the best players on your team, will, you'll be lined up against one of the best players on the other team. We have a tough conference, and in our singles ladder in particular. Most of uh, this year's MVP matches would have been against guys who are expected to be playing at the college level this fall or predicted to eventually play at the college level. So obviously, the MVP will never have an easy match. But in turn, he took on the, the toughest opponent, effectively making the matches easier for his teammates lower on the ladder. He was also one of the players that contributed his time and energy and even sometimes equipment to lower players. The 2020 Most Valuable Player Award for Tennis goes to sophomore John Coley. It was great working with all you guys this year. Stay safe and stay strong. Thanks to all of our coaches and their student athletes for their efforts this spring. Now we'll transition to our end of year awards. First up is the Junior Varsity Sportsmanship Award. Candidates for this award must complete a full season of Junior Varsity Athletics at Hargrave and must exemplify sportsmanship by exhibiting fairness, generosity, fair play, grace in defeat, and humility in victory. The cadet that won this award was a favorite of coaches and players alike, and he exhibited all those characteristics to a T. The 2020 Junior Varsity Sportsmanship Award goes to Aiden White. Next up, we have our Varsity Sportsmanship Award. Candidates for this award must exhibit the same characteristics listed at the Junior Varsity Award, but compete at the varsity level. This year's winner has long been a student athlete that honors the game with his actions. As a multiple sport athlete, he stands out as a fierce competitor who enhances every team he is on. Moreover, he is quick to jump in and help younger cadets in our battles in the faculty and staff versus cadets' tennis, uh, yearly tennis matches are some of the highlights of my time at Hargrave. It is my honor to award the Varsity Sportsmanship Award to Sebastian Richardson. The next award we'll present is the Brumel Award. The award was created three years ago by a trio of cadets who were coached by and inspired by Major Brumel. The award is issued annually to a coach at Hargrave that meets the following criteria has been a varsity coach at Hargrave for three or more years, shows dedication to the cadets as individuals, not just as athletes, and improves all four pillars of Hargrave's program, which is fitness, character, character and leadership development, academics, and spiritual growth. Wins and losses are not a consideration for this award. It is my pleasure to award the 2020 Brumel Award to our head soccer and track and field coach, Jeremy Eubank. Next is the OBT Coach of the Year Award. This prestigious award is the top honor that a coach at Hargrave can earn. The award is named after O.B. Teague, a 1942 graduate of Hargrave. He went on to serve on the board of trustees and maintained a lifelong love of high school athletics. The winner of this award must promote, over, the, must promote the overall athletic department at Hargrave, support other coaches, develop his own individual program, exhibit strong character and integrity, and have a positive impact on the lives of his players on and off the field. This year's recipient has done all of those things while eclipsing 100 career wins, leading his team to a 35-4 and record and a berth in the National Final Four. The 2019-20 OBT Award winner is Lee Martin.
Our last two awards are the top individual awards that student athletes can earn at Hargrave. First up, we have the Major Talent Award. This award is not issued annually, but rather issued when a deserving cadet shines through. Winners of this prestigious award must showcase excellence in athletics, academics, character, and in military life. This year's recipient has been a staple of Hargrave since arriving as a freshman. He has earned varsity letters in football, golf, and basketball, and captained the varsity basketball team this year to a, a VISAA State Elite Eight while setting the modern record for career three-pointers made. As a trusted member of the Hargrave community, he held the rank of Bravo Com Company Commander as a junior and served on the battalion staff this past year. He excels in the classroom as well, taking a rigorous course load on while maintaining a 4.68 grade point average, which puts him among the top in his class. This year's winner has been recruited heavily by a number of high academic schools and recently committed to Hampton, Sydney to play basketball. The 2020 Major Talent Award winner is Nathan Kenya. Our last award is the Outstanding Athlete Award. This award is given annually to a student athlete that showcases outstanding athletic achievement, academic success in the classroom, and character on and off the field. This year's recipient fits the criteria to a T. He is a, he's an Iron Tiger winner, lettering in soccer, swimming, and track and field during the 2020 season. In the classroom, he pushes himself with a course load that includes numerous AP, honors, and advanced courses. He's a leader on the barracks, earning a rank of Cadet First Lieutenant, and is a platoon commander in Delta Company. His athletic achievements this year have been notable. He was named a captain of the track and field team, where his improvement from last year was pushing multiple relays towards uh, Hargrave, record, Hargrave records had the season not been canceled early. He truly shined through in swimming, however. Most notably, he broke a school record in the 100-yard breaststroke uh, dethroning the previous champion by over a second, and that record had stood for 17 years. The achievement was also commemorated by earning Hargrave's January Athlete of the Month honors. He finished top 16 in multiple events in the VISAA state championships and qualified for the state championships in every event that he competed in this year. As a testament to his prowess in the pool, his teammates and coaches both awarded them their MVP trophies for this past season. Some words that coaches have used to describe this year's winner are tenacious, the backbone of the team, and an invaluable mentor to our younger cadets. The 2019-20 Outstanding Athlete Award goes to Nathan Higdon. That concludes the athletic awards for the 2020 school year. Congratulations to all of our awardees. As a reminder, the physical awards will be available for pickup during checkout. Please stick back for a list of our spring varsity letter award winners and also a list of our Iron Tiger award winners who earned varsity letters in all three seasons this academic year.